Let's take a look at the br Jesus brand new Mayano USB XLR podcast dynamic microphone PD200X, baby. Let's get this bad boy open real quick. Wait a minute. What the heck? This can't be right. You belong here. What the heck did you do my microphone? Oh, found it. It's right here. It's this, this one right here. My first initial impression of getting this microphone is, oh my god, I don't know what you did to pack this, but it smells like chemicals that came out of that Ohio train wreck that just happened a couple weeks ago. I'm not sure if I should be breathing this stuff in, so I let it air out a couple hours and eh, probably need a day. Let's check out what came in the box. So my microphone came in the mail. The box is damaged as always because the post office workers absolutely love me. It comes with a little manual. We also have the microphone with the button, the knob. It has the back, which is cool because you can either use it USB style or you can use it XLR style, which I'll be showing you guys how both of those sound and then it comes with a nifty little cable that's both USB A and USB C so if you need that you can have one or the other and then it has an adapter and probably what causes the smell I'm gonna quickly flash through the entire manual for you guys so you guys can take a look at that so just pause the video there before we take a listen for this microphone we got to check out today's sponsor own.tv never has making your live stream look super professional in just a couple clicks been so easy before if we actually scroll down on their website we can take a look at their stream design bestseller packages like their lovely dark mode series we can go on the left Left hand side, click down to the live preview, and then you can see all the different things that come included in this stream overlay package. You got your starting soon pause screen, you got your live webcam overlays, you got everything you possibly want to have a nice professional looking stream design in only a few clicks. So if you guys want to make your live stream look extra professional, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can get your hands on one. But now let's actually take a listen and see how this microphone sounds. All right, so this is what it sounds like using the XLR input. I'm talking into the front end because this is a front end address microphone, meaning if if I put it upwards like this, you're not gonna be able to hear me that well because you gotta talk in the end of it. So I've got this plugged into my Yamaha ZG01 audio interface. And I got a whole video on that interface if you guys wanna check that out after this video. And I have my microphone gain turned all the way up with just a little bit down. And then my volume fader is at max. So this is what it sounds like basically maxing out my interface, which is a little scary because if we wanna make it go louder, then we're gonna have to do some artificial stuff. But I'll talk about that at the end of the video. So since we're using the XLR input of this microphone, that means that we're not going to be able to use the light or be able to listen to ourselves plugged in directly in the back of the microphone. Those are only going to be available if you use the USB option. But now that I've been talking into it for a little bit, you can kind of understand how it sounds. And my first con is that this little guy is not going to be able to fit on here without falling off really easy. You can just turn it a little bit and he's just going to fall. What am I supposed to do now? By the way, if you guys find this video helpful, drop a like on the video for this cute little guy to get more recommended your feed. But right now, I'm talking directly into the end of it, maybe like an inch or two away from my mouth, and I'm gonna yell like this, and I'm gonna yell. I'm actually gonna go back, go about maybe six inches, so this is what it sounds like there. But now that you know what it sounds like via XLR, let's check out the USB. So now we're using the microphone using the USB setting, which means we can actually turn on the little light in the back, plus this little button. There we go, so we got that color. You can switch through all these different colors, even get to this one right here, which is every gamer's favorite. And if you don't want it on at all, you can just press and hold the button and it'll turn it off. But who wants that? Are we even gaming if it's not filled with color? Yeah, much better. So we obviously can use the lights now. We can also plug our headphones directly into the back of the microphone so we can hear exactly how we sound. So actually, I put my headphones right now in the back here, which you guys can see right there. Another thing that actually kind of annoys me is that they have a knob here on the very front that you can turn for your microphone gain. So if I turn it all the way to the right, this is the loudest the microphone gain is. If I turn it all the way to the left, you're eventually not not going to hear me. So my gripe about this is that you actually don't know where it is on the level because it'll flash at you when you hit the max for the loudest or if you're like in the mute for all the way to the left. But you don't know what like the middle is. So I have no idea where the middle is other than kind of just guessing, which is really annoying, especially if I like it at a certain level and I switch it. I don't know where that's going to be when I go back. You can also press in the button and then that now changes the volume in your headset, which is kind of cool. Another thing that I noticed when using the USB for this is that it seems to clip a lot easier than when we were using the XLR. If you actually go back in the video, when we were using the XLR and I was shouting, you could hear that it really wasn't clipping that bad. But now, if I talk like this, you can hear very obvious clipping. So even if I turn it down all the way here for my microphone gain, I'm gonna yell, yell, you can hear that clipping, which is not really present when using the XLR input. I don't know why that is. If there's any audio nerd, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know. Obviously, you can try and fix this by using a compressor and some other filters. But now that you've heard both the USB and the XLR and the pros and cons kind of between both of them. So if you think this is a good microphone for you, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And watch this video right in front of me if you want to learn how to turn your budget microphone into a professional microphone using some simple filters. But anyways, my name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.